Hello. In this module, we'll learn about various geomorphological features of our planet. Earth has wide range of features formed by spatial and temporal changes of exogenic and endogenic forces. Endogenic forces are the constructive forces and exogenic forces are the destructive forces. Endogenic forces comes from within the earth and form tectonic features like mountains and valleys, whereas exogenic forces originate from the surface processes like rivers, glaciers, winds, etc. Basically, these are the features that are formed in the pursuit of the nature trying to reach its equilibrium. Following the zeroth law of thermodynamics, let's put it this way. All the processes that you have ever known are the byproducts of this law. Flowing of the ice or water, flowing of air, climate, temperature, sea levels, movement of magma through the earth, you name it, all of them. Well, as for today, we'll be dealing with exogenic forces and the features formed by their interaction with the surface of this planet. Here we can see landforms are differentiated into aeolian, fluvial, glacial, coastal and karst based on their very own domains. In order to keep it short and crisp, I'll keep my discussion confined to aeolian landforms in this module. So let's say by the end of this module, we should familiarize ourselves with various aeolian landforms. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All the geomorphological features that are shaped and deposited by the action of wind are called aeolian landforms. Wind erosion manifests itself in three forms. Abrasion, the natural sandblast action of windblown material. Deflation, the lifting and removal of loose material. And attrition, the mutual wear of particles carried along by the wind. The first term, dunes. They make up the most iconic of the desert landscapes. Their sleek and fluid curves make them stand out of the other features. Sand dunes are seen in diversity of sizes ranging from 10 centimeters to about hundreds of meters. The ones that fall between 1 centimeter to about a meter are ripples. They migrate very rapidly. And those which are a bit larger, maybe about 10 meters to hundreds of meters, are called dunes. They can migrate at a pace of 10 to 100 meters per year. And at last, dras. These are humongous stretches of sand. They can extend up to 500 meters to 5 kilometers. Their migration takes a while. But as an overall note, migration is very harmful for agricultural lands and human settlements. Moving on, dunes come in diversified shapes, which is dictated mainly by the amount of sand in the area and the pattern of the winds. As a side note, chain of dunes is called ergs, and the depressions between them are called gussies. And the dunes formed due to obstacles of shrubs or bushes are called nebkas and the dunes developed on the lee side of the desert depression are called lunettes. Moving on to types of dunes. Barchans, parabolic dunes, transverse dunes, linear dunes, star dunes, crescentic dunes formed in Applia, Windshire dunes. All these variants are brought in by differences in the sand supply and wind movement, as I mentioned before. So the first one, Barshans. A Barshan is a crescentic shaped dune with horns pointing in the windward direction. The windward side has a gentle slope and is concave, whereas lee side is steep and convex. Barshans are usually seen in the regions of limited sand supply and surplus winds. Here I have prepared a small diagram in 3D paint to give you a better understanding. Look at how strong winds move the dune into a crescent shape. Since I don't have much idea about animation, I had to use what I have. <coughs> Moving on. Parabolic dunes. These are associated with blowouts. Well, if you don't know what blowout is, they are basically the hollows formed by the removal of particles due to wind. They may appear similar to Barshans but in the opposite direction. And they are kind of longer and narrower than the Barshans. These are usually encountered in coastal regions. Next. Transverse dunes. Transverse dunes are most common type of dunes. 
These are characterized by single deep face with sinus crests. Note that crests in these dunes always contain coarse particles. These are usually seen in the region where there is surplus supply of sand and ineffective winds. Next, saifs, aka longitudinal dunes. These are formed parallel to the direction of the wind, as seen here. They extend to hundreds of kilometers and they have two opposite slip faces with sharp crest line. They form in the regions of strong winds or eddies. Next, star dunes. Star dunes are characterized by three or more slip faces. By the way, you must be wondering what slip faces is. Slip face is nothing but the face from which the sand particles slide downwards. Like I said, star dune has three or more slip faces and curved and radiated crest from a central peak as we can see in this diagram. And these dunes are observed in the regions of variable wind direction and surplus sand supply. Moving on, Playa, Bajada and Bolsons. These are special type of landforms of arid and semi-arid regions of so-called badland topography. The intermountain basins in these regions are called bolsons. These are basin-like structures containing pedimonts, bajadas and playas. Bajadas are basically sloping depositional plains between playas and surrounding pedimonts. And playas are the temporary lake-like features. It basically contains mineral deposits like borax or halite. Moving on, mushroom rocks or gara in Saharan language or pestfelsen in German are pedestal rocks that are upgraded vigorously at the base due to which they show a broad upper part and a narrow lower part. This trend of showing more abrasion at the base is due to the difference in the chemical composition or due to the undercut by the erosion. Moving on to Inselbergs or Bonhards. These are the sort of controversial landforms. There are various opinions regarding their origin. They can mostly be defined as a residual hill or a mound that has been left behind due to its relative resistance than the surrounding lithology. Moving on to Demoisels. These are the pillars of resistant rock or can also be called as a rock tree. These are formed from the resistance that is caused from the binding effect around the roots of the plants. Another thing we can throw light on is this is how the plants or trees prevent the soil erosion. So this can be a kind of proof of how soil erosion can be prevented by afforestation. Moving on to Zugens. These are formed when the upper bed of the rocks are shales and mudstones and when these rocks undergo fluid dissolution, their chemicals move to the lower levels, causing chemical erosion. Later, this chemically eroded material is removed by the wind, forming the features looking like that. Next, yard angs. These are the streamlined hills carved from the bedrock or any consolidated material by the dual action of wind abrasion and deflation. They can range in size from about 10 meters to about a kilometer length and they are formed when there is alternating soft and hard rock bedding in a vertical or inclined plane. Next, abraded rock boulders. These are the rock pieces that have been abraded for long periods of time and based on the number of faces, they are classified into Zwickanter, Derricanter and Ventifacts. Moving on to Desert Varnish. It's a dark coating on rocks found in arid region. It is made of fine grains of clay material composed of manganese oxide or iron oxide. These are often seen as a coating of canyon walls. And finally our last term, desert pavement. These are closely packed and interlocked angular and rounded rock fragments in fine sand and dust ground mass. And how are they formed? This can be simply understood by looking at this image here, where fragments of rocks are dispersed across each level of beds, which are later brought together through an equal level through the gradual 
erosional cycle as simple as that so that's the end in the next module we'll be discussing about fluvial landforms don't miss it and as usual we are open for suggestions use the comment box and if this video has helped you in any way please like share and subscribe